Over the past 101 years at Karossi, we've had a rich tradition of houses and house competition. Uh, we want to celebrate that strong house culture that we've had. Uh, whether it's athletics, swimming carnivals or cultural events, house music, chants, all of these things have had people involved and contributed much to the life and the spirit of the school, whether it be in the past in secondary girls, secondary boys or primary school. Now this is not the first time that we've talked about changing houses in response to school need. In the 1970s, uh, all the houses changed in response to growth of that time uh, as what was then a girls' school moved from three houses to four with a new one formed. We've surveyed you all and got the names of prominent uh, and famous Australians. Uh, we've surveyed you a number of times uh, and we've taken into account from year five and year six, the secondary students, primary staff, secondary staff. Uh, so it's been a comprehensive process and I'm really happy and confident with what the survey and getting your thoughts and feelings has brought us. Uh, because what we're going to announce today is four houses which are exemplary and fit very closely, knit in and tie with our school values. Uh, and you don't need me to remind you what they are, but I'm going to do it anyway. Selflessness, integrity, resilience and inclusiveness. Uh, these values are important to us and it's great to have house names that fit in with that. It gives me great pleasure to announce to you today uh, the names of the four new school houses. Our first new school house is Cuthbert House, named for Betty Cuthbert. She was a torchbearer in the opening ceremony of the Sydney 2000 Olympics, just prior to Cathy Freeman lighting the Olympic cauldron. She was an Australian sprinter who starred at the 1956 Olympic Games in Melbourne, where she won three gold medals. Uh, despite many setbacks and injuries, she added a fourth gold medal in the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo. She was a well-known and famous campaigner for multiple sclerosis awareness, a disease which she suffered from for many years. Uh, she was resilient in the face of adversity with strong Christian hope despite her personal circumstances. Our second schoolhouse is named for Catherine Hamblin, who was an Australian doctor who, with her husband, co-founded the Addis Ababa Fistula Hospital, the world's only medical centre dedicated exclusively to providing free obstetric fistula repair surgery to poor women suffering from childbirth. Catherine could have had a much easier life living in Australia, but instead dedicated her life to living overseas and working in the service of others. She was motivated by her Christian conviction of God caring for all people. Hamlin was awarded the Australia's highest honour, the Companion of the Order of Australia. And she even has a Sydney Harbour Ferry recently named for her. Our third schoolhouse is named for Sir Douglas Nichols in Nichols House. Uh, Douglas Nichols became Australia's first and only Indigenous Governor of South Australia in the 1970s. Uh, Nichols had fought for Indigenous rights and worked for the welfare of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders uh, through his life from the 1930s. He was incredibly influential in many areas of society and life, being a pastor in the Church of Christ, a prominent AFL footballer playing for Essendon, I believe, and the first Indigenous Australian to be awarded a knighthood. Uh, even today, the AFL Indigenous Round is named after him, known as the Nichols Round. And he has over his life, or was over his life, a strong advocate for Indigenous reconciliation. The fourth and final house has been named for Teddy Sheehan, a World War II hero. Some of you will have heard of him because this year he was awarded the Victoria Cross for bravery above and beyond, the highest military award uh, that anyone can receive. He was an Australian farm labourer turned ordinary seaman on the HMAS Armadale, known for his courage and sacrifice. After his ship was attacked 
and he was shot and wounded. He assisted to launch life rafts before returning to his anti-aircraft gun to fire at enemy aircraft that were bombarding his shipmates as they struggled in the water, uh, despite the order of being given to abandon ship. He displayed incredible selflessness and truly lived out the verse of John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. So with the houses announced, uh, moving forward, the next part of the process will be deciding colours and distributing students and the school community into houses. Then we will have a formal commissioning of the four houses. With it's going to be hard for some of us to say goodbye to the house that we've loved, that has served us so well. We want to support that strong sense of house spirit, of inclusion, of belonging that has served Cal Rossi so well for so long.